Eighth graders, this is to help you with question six on CR 20. It says, how many angles besides the one given measure 60 degrees? Okay, so this is the angle that measures 60. I'm going to tell you A will also measure 60 degrees. Those angles are vertical. If I take A and I slide it down here, a and C are the exact same size. So if A is 60, A, then C is 60. And now that I see that C is 60, I look here and I say, oh, okay, D and C are the same size. That is also 60. When you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, you know that opposite angles, when two lines intersect, are congruent. Hopefully you know that corresponding angles, A and C are corresponding, those are congruent. C and D are vertical, so those are congruent. So the given angle, the given 60 degree angle and angle A are vertical. Vertical angles are congruent, therefore they're congruent. Angle A and angle C are called corresponding angles. Therefore, they're congruent. Angle C and angle D are vertical. Vertical angles are opposite each other when two lines intersect. That says vertical. Therefore, C and D are congruent. So besides the angle given, how many more angles measure 60? One, two, three additional angles are guaranteed to measure 60 degrees. I hope that helps.